live production, there is a need for titles and graphics to help support the production. In this video, we will examine the workflow of using live text to create different types of graphics. Let's take a look at three types of graphics you might use in a live show. First, we have a graphic with a pre-made background element from another application such as Photoshop. Next, we will look at creating a credit roll and last, a lower third with a graphic separator and an image like this graphic. Let's take a look at how you can create these title graphics in the TriCaster. On the Sessions page, there is a button labeled Graphics, and this will launch the included character generator called Live Text. This application can be used to create graphics and title templates for use in the TriCaster. This must be done outside of the live desktop, so you can't use this version of live text during a live show. Live text is also available as a standalone add-on that runs on an external PC. This can be used during a live production and adds some additional capabilities not found in the included version. The workflow for both products is very similar and we will discuss the differences later in this video. Any live text project that you make becomes associated with the session and will get backed up with the session and be available when the session is restored to another drive. Any existing projects show up here. Since this is a new session, there are none. Let's start one. Give the project a name here. Let's call it Training Titles. Then click on Start Project. The live text interface is broken down into five basic areas. The text and drawing tools, the main edit window, the pages for your project, the motion controls, and the tabs along the bottom. The text and drawing tools allow for the creation of text and shapes. The selection tool is used for selecting items to be modified and for modifying them once they've been selected. Let's select the text tool and click in the edit page to position the cursor for typing. Type a name. Now click on the select tool. The text highlights. You can now left click in the center of the text and drag to a position anywhere in the screen. The highlight also has little dots or nodes on it. These can be grabbed and dragged to modify the text. You can stretch it by grabbing a side node or size it by dragging a corner node. Control Z will undo things if you want to get back and try again. Using the tabs down at the bottom of the interface, choose Text and Drawing. Here you have access to change fonts using any true type font loaded into Windows. If you have a specific font that you need to use and it is a true type font, you can use it. Exit to Windows and load or add the font to Windows. Restart the TriCaster and go back to Live Text. This font is now available from the font list. There is a color picker for font color as well as some style tools such as bold, italic and underline. You can choose a typing direction and size the text using these controls. Locking the aspect ratio here assures that the text will be sized on X and Y instead of stretching it on one axis. There is also a control for rotation. If you are creating scrolling or crawling text, you can select items and click on Hold During Motion to lock them so they don't move during the scroll or crawl. There are controls for line and arc objects as well. This is nice for drawing a line and then modifying its look. Click on the Line tool and draw a horizontal line. You can draw a perfectly straight line by holding down Control while dragging the line out. Once the line is created, click on the Selection tool and select the line. You can left click and drag out a box to select things within the box. This works for single or multiple items. 
You can also use the selection tool to select an item and remove it with the delete key. With the line selected, you can adjust its thickness and the look of the ends of the line. Clicking on the Style tab shows a variety of pre-made looks that can be applied to the line or to any shape. Select the look and move the line under the name. Let's remove the line by selecting it and hitting the Delete key. With the text selected, you also have some color options for solids and gradients in the Color tab. There's also a style bin for the text showing many presets you can use. Simply click on a preset and it will be applied to the selected items. Styles can be applied to text or shapes and you can even create your own look and add it to the styles bin. There is a file bin giving you access to images on the drives. If you want to add a logo or image to use as part of a graphic, Simply navigate to it and drag it into the edit window. Now you can size and position it. You can even bring it in as an image with alpha to use as a pre-made background. Let's bring in a background image created in an image program like Photoshop. Once you have selected it, you can size it and position it. This graphic was created at 1920 by 1080 and it automatically fits the frame perfectly with no adjustments. From the Layers panel, you can adjust where the elements are in the layers. You can bring them forward or push them back. Selected items can be nudged by using the arrow keys for fine adjustments. Bring the name on top of the background element. Now go to the Text and Drawing tab and turn on Shadow. There are three shadow types. Select Cast. The color and alpha level of the shadow can be set by clicking on this color swatch. Now let's copy and paste the text to duplicate it. Move the duplicate down and size it to fit the subheading. Now select the Text tool. Highlight the new text and type in the new text you want to replace it with. Now go back to the selection tool and the new text highlights. Go to the text and drawing tab and turn off shadows. Let's also italicize it. Click on the color swatch under the text and drawing tools here and select black. Once you have the layer set up, you make your final tweaks on the items in each layer for the look that you want. There are alignment tools to help positioning elements. There are also grouping and ungrouping tools for easier manipulation of several layers at once. At the moment, each layer is independent, but once you are happy with the look, you can group all the layers and move them as one. These groups can be ungrouped at any time for additional changes. The Pages area allows you to work with several graphics within a project. You can clone pages to keep the same look and replace the text with different names, or make new pages by clicking in an unused area of the Pages section. You also have access to the title templates that come with the TriCaster. You can modify any of these as well to suit your needs. You can create motion graphics like scrolls and crawls. You can even import a text file for your credit roll. Create a text file outside of the TriCaster with credits for your show. Save the text file to a USB drive. Now attach the USB drive to the TriCaster. Go to the File pull-down menu and choose Add Files. Navigate to and select the text file with your credits. In order to see the text file in the requester, you need to switch the files of type in the load requester to all files or star dot star. Once the file is selected for loading, there are some positioning tools available on import. Select center alignment and click OK. 
Once imported, you can make your final adjustments for size and position. Click on the Selection tool. Control A will select everything. You will see a purple outline around all of the selected items. This will allow you to adjust size proportionally over all items. Grab the corner and size them up. Now use the Arrange tool to center all of the text. Select the text tool and position the cursor after the first title and name. Hit Enter to add a space. If the title ends up off the bottom of the page, don't worry. A motion page will fix that. To make an emotion page, click on the arrow in the direction you want the text to move. For example, we want the text scrolling up. Now you have a scroll bar to get to the rest of the text and finish adding your spaces. Then, set a speed with this slider and an end behavior. Set the speed to 5. For a credit roll, use the over end behavior option so that it scrolls up and off the screen completely. Then, test the motion and speed here. You can apply a style to the text if you wish. Select all with Control A and go to the Style tab. Always remember to recenter after adjustments. To get a better look at the final graphic, go to the View tab and select Checkerboard. Click off of the text to deselect it. Let's make one last page with an image. We will add a headshot. Select it, size it, and position it. Add a name. Let's add a line as a graphic separator. Adjust the layering so that the picture is on top. Now add a subheading. Once all the pages are created, save the project from the file pull-down. This saves the CG project to reload into live text to make changes to any of the individual pages later. It is smart to save frequently during the creation of multiple pages in case of power loss you won't lose your work. Then you can send the current page or all of the pages of your project to the TriCasters Live Desktop. When sending pages to the Live Desktop, still graphics can be saved two ways. The first is as a still image. This will save a .png file, which will work, but cannot be edited during a live production. The second way is to save it as a title page. This is the preferred method. This saves it as a title template, which can be modified during the live production. Just remember, add all text that you want to be editable in live text. Text brought in with the background image will not be editable. In the current update, a third saving option has been added. You can save as a CG file. This would allow you to load this page back into any other live text project. Select Title Page as the saving type and click Save. The motion pages are rendered out as AVI files to be used in a digital disk recorder as a motion overlay graphic. With the project saved, we will exit live text. Here you can see the project and we can go back to it and make changes at any time. Let's go back to the live desktop. Once exported, the still graphics will be available as title templates in the media browser under titles for that session name. If you add an image to a title and you save as a template, you can change out that image. Load the title with the image into Graphics 2. Click on the gear for that title. If while in the live desktop, the image does not highlight when moused over within the title template editor, try shift clicking on it to make it editable. You will see a red line around the image, then shift click on it and the red line turns green. Now when you mouse over it, a yellow highlight appears around the image, meaning you can now change it out. The motion graphic can be found by clicking on Add for the DDR 
and looking in the clips area under your session name. How to use the motion clip as an overlay is covered in the live production section of the training. Now live text is also available as a standalone product that can be run on an external PC during the live production. This allows a second operator to modify graphics and send them to the TriCaster live over the network. It adds many additional features and these are discussed in the network input section of the training. The main difference between the internal and external versions of live text is the live output window. It's right here in the external version. This is not in the internal version. It's in the upper right hand corner of the live text interface. Now whatever appears in this window is what's being sent live to the TriCaster across the network. To get something to appear in the window, select the page that you want to send and click on the live button. You can also double click on a page within your project to send it to the live window. Now if live text is currently playing a motion page like a credit roll, that motion must be stopped before the live window can be updated. Moving like the speed of sound